Welcome to BitBoy Crypto. This is your daily crypto wrap-up where I give you all the day's news in about three minutes. We'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and start looking at the markets here, guys. We got Bitcoin doing a little better, coming in at sixty thousand uh, six hundred sixty-three dollars. Ethereum at forty-three hundred. Uh, we got some interesting movement here for some coins. Uh, we got Cardano back up to a dollar ninety. Uh, XRP was a few moments ago back at a dollar fourteen. So getting back up closer to the one twenty-four uh, XRP, which is really good news. Look at the biggest gainers of the day. Holy gala, Batman! We got Gala coming in at 93.7% increase. CRO, we're going to talk about crypto.com, why this went up, but this was up 40.2%. Kadena, huh? Huh? Kadena, been telling you guys, 27.6%. KuCoin shares up 12.9%. And then another project I've been telling you guys about for a while, Avalanche, AVAX, coming in at 12.7%. Uh, Ecomi and Wax both doing pretty well. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the news here, guys. Here is the biggest news we really need to cover. The Bitcoin's expiry, the future's expiry on Friday. Why is this important? Well, it's important every single Friday. You know, more, as we get closer to the end of the month, more and more and more important. But the key here is that it looks like we're probably going to have a red week this week. And with that, that means that the bears win. If we go back one week ago on Friday... We were looking at Bitcoin hitting hyperdrive. It had just hit new all-time highs. Everything was very positive for Bitcoin. Well, now a week later, things are very negative. This is what you need to pay attention to. With the price of Bitcoin between $58,000 and $60,000 this week, the net result will be $220 million favoring the bears. And that's why I honestly believe we have to get the price above $62,000 to get any kind of positive momentum for the bulls. Now, here's what I believe. I believe this is possibly the last red week we are going to see for this month and the next several weeks. For the next four to six weeks, this could be the last red weekly candle that we have. So I'm comfortable with Bitcoin being fifty-eight dollars to $60,000 on Friday. Saturday, the 20th, we should see momentum up. And then we will hopefully be hitting hyperdrive as we head into Thanksgiving. Um, other stories of the day, crypto.com, you guys know they inked a 20-year, $700 million deal. The biggest deal we've seen yet in crypto and sports to rename the Staples Center to the uh, crypto.com arena, I think is what they're going to name it. The crypto.com, does it say right here? I can't, I don't know if it's a crypto.com center or crypto.com arena, but the point is it is going to be renamed. Here's what I found to be very interesting. On average, 39% of people say in America say they have some familiarity with crypto. For sports fans, because of all these sports sponsorships, 47%. Very interesting. Last story. I, I don't want to give this really any credence. Why are we still debating whether Craig Wright is Satoshi? We, we know Craig Wright is not Satoshi. If you don't know Craig Wright and his former business partner, Dave Kleiman's estate are at odds right now. Once again, he's being tasked to prove that he is who he says he is. He claims he created Bitcoin. We all know he isn't. Uh, you know, we just got to stop giving this guy any credibility. I haven't for a year and a half or so on this channel. So if you hear about Craig Wright being Satoshi or people making TikToks or, you know, tweets about it, ignore it. This guy's not Satoshi. And, um, you know, there's really no doubt about that. All right. That's all I got. Be blessed. Be boy out.